this wonderful, beautiful young lady just gave her life to Jesus Christ a month ago. Uh, uh, if we can pull out a picture. Yep, there she is standing. That was a prayer line service just like today and she gave herself to Jesus Christ that day. We're so excited for you, Sandra. Would you please uh, share with us how was your life before you came to know Jesus Christ? Well, as you can see in the picture, I looked miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I looked angry and bitter. I was really, really mad and resentful. Um, I came from a broken marriage from Arizona out here and everything and everyone that was around me, I kind of had that inflicting anger towards everybody um, until my sisters came along and didn't give up on me. They, um, I tried running away from them a lot of times uh, until one day I just came here, gave it a try. Mm, I was still kind of skeptical and the, you know, until Pastor Vlad, you know, asked us to come up front, whoever, you know, wanted to come up here and ask Jesus to give us a second, you know, second chance. And that was amazing. As you could see, I, I, I was still, you know, trying to fight myself, but something inside me said, go up there. And as I said, my daughter also, she, she came behind me and she came too. She's only 16, so I'm so happy for her because she, she came along. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. God is so good. He touches people's lives. You know what? I remember uh, your sister, Edith. She was like, Lana, help me pray for my sister. <laughs> so we were praying for you. And you are a miracle that's standing here yeah. with the life and heart changed and touched by Jesus Christ. Now also, Sandra just recently got water baptized. Come on. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful thing when you publicly declare your inner decision to follow Jesus Christ. It's wonderful. Sandra, can you please share with us, uh, how is your life now different? Well, as you can see, I kind of smile more. Um, I forgave a lot of people that hurt me in the past. Um, truthfully, from the bottom of my heart, I actually did that. And... Like I was saying, I finally actually started talking to one of the persons that I was so resentful against. And they actually texted me that they wanted me to pray for them. And I started doing that. And right now I've been so happy. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing how, how much joy you can actually surround yourself with. Uh, the people I surround with now is totally different from what I, what I was doing before. Wow, that's amazing, amazing. Sandra, can you please share a word of advice to people who might be um, struggling in their lives and they have not taken that step of giving their lives to Jesus Christ? What would you tell them? To give God a chance, to try your best, uh, come over, find somebody, don't give up on God because God does not give up on you. I always thought that God was too good to actually forgive me and Finally, I came over, and because of my sister, Edith, she actually gave me that talk and said, God loves you, and no matter what you've done, he will clean you, and he will make you new, and I came here, and it's been great. You guys should give it a try. It's the best thing, I promise, the best thing that you can do for yourself, for the people that are around you, for everybody. It's just been wonderful. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much.